So hello everybody, in today's video we're going to talk about buttons. I'm going to give you a resource of a bunch of buttons that you can use in Power BI. We're going to talk about button states, we're going to talk about how you configure buttons, all the new improvements they've made, yeah, everything and anything you wanted to know. So let's get started. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share a resource that I found. Actually, this comes from the Tableau community. His name is Kevin. He has a twin brother. Both of them are Tableau set masters, I think they call it. And uh, he, Kevin, he actually made a resource where he shares a bunch of buttons, all those buttons, in PowerPoint. And he shares with the Tableau community. Here's the thing, now with the new implementation in Power BI where you can add images to buttons, we can use these too. So I'm going to share with you. I'm going to post the link to this uh, blog post. You go in here, you click here, and then it will take you to your Tableau report. You don't need to have Tableau installed, don't worry. And in here, you can download his template and reuse it. So thank you a million, Kevin. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can modify his buttons and how do we use them in Power BI with all the states and page navigation and all that stuff. Let me show you the end and then I'll show you how I did it. So this is a Power BI. This is the thing that we're going to do. So we have in page one, we have three buttons. I have page one because we're in page one is disabled. Page two, you have on hover and on click. If I click on it, it takes me to page two, which obviously page two is disabled, meaning that you're on page two and page one and page three work. So this is basically what we're going to configure using Kevin's buttons. So how did I do that? If we go to his buttons, let me pick another button just for the sake of it. Let's say that we want to have these type of format and Power BI has four states, states nowadays, but mainly for buttons and pinch navigation is three. I wish they had a, we'll talk about it in a second. So here's the thing, we need a default state. The default state is how the button looks like when you are, you're doing nothing to it. Now we're going to use this red button for that. I'm not going to remove the text, but you can do it. You can remove the text and then you can put the text on Power BI. But for this example, I'm not going to bother. So here we have our on default button. We're going to select it and then save as picture. And I'm going to select it as default one. Then this one, we're going to transform it or I can transform that one. It doesn't matter. I can get, well, let me do it here better. I'm going to use these for our hover and for our own click. So let me copy because I want to have the click thing the same. Probably I can choose the color, but sometimes it's supposed to use copy paste. So now this one, I want it the same color. We're going to go to fill. I'm going to do that. Boom. We have the same color, but the text, I want it to be gray. So when you hover over, you see that it ch something changes that tells you, okay, this thing is active. And then we have the last button and this, I want to have the feel gray. So it's like a disabled button. So now that I have on hover button done, I'm going to save it. On hover, 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 maybe not hover, <laughs> oh, hover. Okay. Save as picture. You understand me. And then this is the on click one. Okay, so now we have our three buttons. How do we do this in Power BI? We go back, we're going to build page three. So buttons, blank button. We're going to get rid of the uh, outline. We don't need it anymore. And the images are on fill. So you have default state, add image. And then we're going to put our default state, which is default one. There we have it. Now, depending on the theme that you have applied, you might get these weird things, like for example, 50% transparency. I don't want that. And here we have our default state. This is how the button will look. If you want a text, you can just, as I told you, remove the text from PowerPoint. And here you can write whatever you want. And you see the text will appear there. I don't want it, but just so you know that it's possible. Now, the other states, 
on hover it means that when you put your mouse over how will it look now something that confused me deeply is that the all the states inherit the first image that you put in so I, you need to get rid of that in order to be able to load hover and then you'll see that it hovers cool oh this is a little bit changed i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> let's just decide on press it means what happens when you click on the button again it inherits so you have to get rid of that and then on click and then I, if i click oh you see dee, 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 dee. it works perfectly okay good now this is going to be maybe i should have taken this is going to be i don't know page we're on page three this is going to be for page one so the action now is that you have the possibility to add page navigation if you don't have anything like move filters here or remove something or don't just normal page navigation then you can use this one otherwise you still have to use bookmarks and then you use page one and then if you control click it'll take you to page one which is quite cool right now how did I do the default button this button here's the thing we're going to add a new button and there is which confused me also <laughs> deeply ago come on there you go outline and then we're going to get field we have now a this is one of the cases where it inherits is a good thing because on click I want to use that if we're on page three this is a button for page three except for the fact that I don't want for to so there you go so if this is page three I don't want it to be able to click because if you're it's a button for page three and you're on page three then it shouldn't go anywhere you you, you should see that nothing happens when you click it so I thought that I had to use this. There's a new state called disabled. And I thought, oh, I have to put it on disable. But no, you don't, you don't have to. The only thing that you need to do is to put your state on click in there or, you know, create a disabled color. And then on page navigation, don't put anything. So you won't be able to click. It's just like an image and nothing happens. The disabled state is actually when you have a drill through, you know, do, do you remember the slicer with a button to do drill through to different places? And then you could have, like you have to click on two visuals in order for a button to be able to activate and send you to a page. Well, that is a disabled thing. And for that, you need to do conditional formatting and have like an empty string. That would be the disabled state. So as far as i can see you there's nothing you can use for buttons just for page navigation buttons that's for read through behavior i hope you enjoy your day i will see you again on friday with another dax fridays videos until then just get crazy with buttons bye bye